So people come and there are specific things I ask of them. They haven't come with integrity. I don't think it's too much to ask for people to give me their honest name, where they live, and a phone number. Why a phone number? Because I want to talk to you. Because I want to know you are who you say you are. That you're not just now making up a phony name. If you go to an ashram, these things are in place. There's a face to face. It's not hiding behind the screen in anonymity and being rude and crude, disrespectful. That's not going to fly anywhere. So, once again, I'm very happy to give whatever I can give to humanity. Have absolute, as much patience as is possible for the sadhakas. But if you're coming here to play games, you're coming here to give your projections, your criticisms, your nonsense, then there's no reason for this guru or any guru to give you the time of day. Now I'm sorry for that harsh reality, but that's the way it is. Because I guarantee most gurus, you wouldn't get a face-to-face -face with that attitude, ever, ever, ever. And because I make everything so point-blank accessible to people, and I think I'm only one of the only gurus out there that will actually go in and answer people directly, and make themselves available to people. But this doesn't mean that you're going to be a doormat. Absolutely not. And neither are you owed any kind of response whatsoever. Just because you demand it doesn't mean that you are owed it. And it used to be that before a guru would take on a sadhaka, that sadhaka had to really show their worthiness. Now before you ask my worth as a guru, what is your worth? What is your worth? Are you even, even up to a level to be a potential sadhaka? And from the projection and nonsense that's been there, absolutely not. You have no intention of it to begin with. You're just out there to try to bust somebody's chops and puff up your ego and run your drama because I'm what? Because I stand up for the truth? Because I speak openly, honestly? Because I'm not a male? Because I'm not Indian? Because I'm not going to fit your stereotypical projections? Well, that's not going to change. It's not going to change. And neither is this path. And neither is the way that I give it. And neither is the way that I interact with my sadhakas. Because you know what? This path has been proven time, 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 and time again. The proof is in the pudding. So no matter what kind of angst, projection, fallible logic you're using, it's not going to change the facts. That yes, I am a Kundalini Shaktipat guru. Yes, I can awaken Kundal. Yes, 
people have come with really difficult times with Kundalini and they have been balanced out and they have gone forward to realization. And this is being proven out day after day after day. Now you can argue with your fantasy all you want, but it's not going to change one iota of what is given here or the facts concerning this path. So thank you. But if my if my YouTube videos are too much for you, if they're pushing too many buttons for you and you're not ready to hear it, don't listen. Nobody's put you in a chair, tied you there, and forced you to watch any of them. If you choose to go there and watch them, then fine. Deal with your emotions. Sit with them and find out where it's coming from. Sit with that emotion. See what's deeper to it. Find out what is driving that projection. Find out what's driving that projection in that mind spin that clearly you're within. Because if you weren't, there would be no need for you to come. And if it was, like I said, honest with integrity, you wouldn't be behind, be hiding behind fake personas, fake identities. You'd come honestly with integrity and transparency and say what you want to say. But if you're not going to come with honesty, or integrity, or transparency, then I should listen to you. Why? <laughs> so, have a wonderful day. Whether you're a sadhaka here or you're not, like I said, if I'm not your cup of tea and there's no guru that's right for everyone, that's fine. Have your opinion. Enjoy it. Relish it. I don't care. But don't come and try to dump your garbage in my living room. It's not going to happen. Okay? Thank you. Namaste.